What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. One of the requests I've been getting a lot here lately is how do you make that homemade defog and why do you use homemade defog over a commercialized product? And first and foremost, there's some lot of great commercial defogs out there. 500 PSI, to my knowledge, makes some of the best. I've used this stuff for many, many years and I really like it over all the other ones. Uh, of course, Trident makes kind of a watered down version, but it works as good as well. It doesn't quite burn your eyes quite as bad. Um, but if you have a, a purpose for homemade defog, whether it's a budgetary purpose, maybe you're in a remote area and you can't get to the dive shop to get your own, or if you're like us and you dive seven days a week, you might want to make up your own homemade defog that you can make in bulk. So before I get into how I make it, a couple things I want to talk about. No matter what defog you use, if you do not pre-treat your mask, it simply will never become undefogged or defogged, if you will. And there's several ways that you can do that. If you'll click right here, we made a video in the past of how you can use the lighter trick to, to pre-treat your mask. Simply click right there and you'll see that video. But there's other methods as well. You know, some people use Gojo, the mechanics hand cleaner. That works as well. Scrub and bubble soft scrub works great to, um, to pre-treat your mask. And of course, this plain old dome dish detergent works as good as well. But the reason I prefer the homemade defog over a commercialized defog is if I'm in a remote area, I may not be able to pick up defog. It may not be a dive shop anywhere near. Or, you know, these things don't really last as long as what I want them to. So, of course, I'm going to make my own. Now, there's several things that you're going to need. You're going to need some type of applicator. And I just use these little spray bottles from the dollar store. I think I maybe paid 50 cents to a dollar for this system right here. So it works really good. It's got a little spray top, so I can just spray it onto the mask. That works good. You're going to need a branded or whatever brand you want of baby shampoo. And I'm going to talk about why I put baby shampoo into the mix and why I have it here as well. I just use Johnson Johnson's, the label store off, but this is just Johnson Johnson's baby shampoo. Um, and then, of course, you want Dawn dish detergent. You can use any degreaser out there, but I'm telling you, Dawn is the best on the market. Um, I typically use the blue top. I've got the green here, which is the apple scented, which works really well. If you don't get it all washed out of your mask, it's going to smell kind of like apples as well. But all you've got to do is simply get the mixture out, and it's going to be the best defog out there. So simply take your spray bottle, whatever applicator that you want to use. And I've actually already got some made up here, but I'll show you real quick what I do. I'm going to start with the Dawn dish detergent, and I'm just going to do a 50-40-10 blend. So I'm going to go 50% of it with Dawn dish detergent. All right, so it's probably about half the bottle is what you're going to end up using. And then, of course, I'm going to use the baby shampoo. I'm going to put in 40% baby shampoo. And then the last ingredient, of course, is simply hot water. And I'm just using hot tap water here out of the sink. I'm just going to heat it up, spray it in until the bubbles start to come out, put my lid back on. Give it a little shake, get it all good and mixed up, and then it's good to go. I can simply loosen up the nozzle, spray it into the mask, scrub it around, let it set for about 30 seconds, and then the rest is history. All you got to do is simply rinse it out. Now, one thing that you'll notice is even after rinsing it out, I tend to leave just a little bit of soap on the inside there. And what that's going to do is help create a film so that no oil from my skin or anything like that can stick to the lens and still cause it to fog up. But this right here will last me a very, very long time. It's easy to carry with me. Now, if you're going to fly or do a lot of international travel, of course, get you some of the commercial stuff, throw it in your luggage, and be done with it. But if you dive a lot in your local environments, this is a whole lot cheaper. It'll last a whole lot longer, and it tends to work a lot better than what the commercial-based product does as well. So, guys, that's my personal blend for my homemade defog. Once again, you can click up here for this link. I'll show you how to pre-treat your mask. There'll be a link down in the description for it as well. But if you got any questions or concerns, maybe your concern is, well, does the dome burn my eyes or anything like that? If that's the case or if you're worried about it, all you got to do is change your mixture, do it a 50-50 blend of baby shampoo and water, and you shouldn't have any trouble with it burning your eyes. It's not going to be quite as potent as the uh, don't mix in, but it will work just as well as too. So if you want to do 50-50 with baby shampoo and water, that works just as well. Guys, if you like that video, smash that like button for me. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you want to tell me what you use for a homemade defog, simply put it down in the comment section below. I'd love to learn what you guys use. But as always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.